What's up, sons? It's Blind Red with Son of Attack once again. And a couple of weeks ago, we went over the pre-sale for the FYT token on the Flora chain. And now it has been launched for the bridge on Ethereum. So we're going to go over how to use it and how to also add to the stable farm if that's what your plan is going to be moving forward. Let's get into it right after a word from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is myself. I recently launched a crypto mining e-course at sonofatech.com and it includes nine steps to cover when you decide to start your crypto mining journey. This is specifically pertaining to 2023 crypto mining profits and taking advantage of the down market to achieve skyrocketing growth as we move into the next halving of Bitcoin. You'll learn buying mining equipment in a bear market, using outside investment to speculative mine, begin mining once profit is established, sell mine crypto to pay for electricity, Hold and prep for the bull run, sell at the top of the bull market, sell mining equipment at the top of the bull market, and begin investing in land and power so that you can bring in outside investors to utilize excess resources. Thanks everybody for your support, and I hope you enjoy the course. Let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. Welcome back everyone. So if we just pop right on over, this is the pre-sale that I was talking about. Now remember the Flora Yield Token is a token that's built on top of the Flora chain. The FLR, which is the Flora token that you get when you mine, is not the same as this one. And that's important to note because CoinMarketCap still has Flora chain pegged to the token. So, yes, we're seeing massive increases in price here on the Flora chain in particular, or the FYT token, excuse me, but not on the Flora chain. The Flora chain price is actually just currently tied to decentralized exchanges, and we'll talk about mining it and actually getting that Flora out at a later date. Today, I just wanted to cover the fact that they have launched their bridge on eth.florachain.org, and to use it, it's pretty simple. If you've ever used a bridge before, you'll be super familiar. You'll go to eth.florachain.org, make sure you're connected to the right wallet and click connect. If you haven't set up a MetaMask wallet yet, please check out my How to Mine Flora Chain video and you can set up your MetaMask wallet and connect it to the Flora Chain network. So at this point, we're gonna click connect wallet and select our MetaMask and then we are going to Make sure that we go up to, you can go up to your MetaMask and then select the Ethereum main check, main, main net. And then at that point, we are going to be transferring from the Ethereum chain over to the Flora main net. We have 40 FYT in here. I'm going to say max. And then we're just going to copy the same wallet address from our Flora chain within MetaMask and paste that into there. If you're utilizing MetaMask on both the Ethereum network and the Flora chain network, it'll be the same address. You can even just click use, use current address if that's the case. And now that we have it all working, we're gonna go ahead and say start transfer. You will get basically some acknowledgements that you need to go over, and then you can click the start transfer button. The MetaMask wallet will pop up, and then at that point, you will need to click the Max button and say Next and Approve. It will then pop up again and ask you to move forward and set your fees. Alrighty, so this video is actually going to take a little bit of a tangent because what ended up happening is the browser window never completed. And so all of the FYT token basically got stuck in a contract. I went onto the Discord and spoke to Fractal. I'll leave a link to the Discord down below in case you run into the same issue. And it was resolved. That being said, this is, there is potential for obviously things like this to happen with a new bridge. And I wanted to make sure that you guys were aware of it. So while the how-to steps will work, if you are going to do this yourself, there could be potential for that. All right, so now that we have the bridge out of the, the way, we're going to go ahead and head on over to the stable farm at stable.floraswap.org. And we're going to approve a contract here. You will get a pop-up from MetaMask. And at this point, you can just say max or however much you want. If you don't want to utilize all the FYT, we'll click next and approve. And we'll see if this goes through. And it's just going through its approval process at this point. And then we can go to the farm here to claim it when it's ready. So 
I actually ran into a ton of issues, even though I had gone through this process with just a few FYT to test before doing this. Unfortunately, I ran into a bunch of issues during recording. Usually I catch all of the issues prior to recording and that makes the video seem a lot more seamless and smooth and so on. But today it doesn't seem to be the case. Like I said, the bridge is very new. It just came out yesterday or the day before if you're watching this on Friday. And that is probably why, to a certain extent, we also run into a bunch of other little issues uh, here and there. And I will do a follow-up on this video and we'll see if we're actually getting the 60% APR or is it APY. Either way, we'll review on how it's doing with the 40 floor that we put up. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe down below, and I'll see you next Tuesday.